So, remember that the mood is in general asynchronous. Okay, we are not connecting to the students synchronously. Yeah, this is very important just to keep in mind. And of course, you can design a MOOC so everyone follows timeline at the same time. But you can also allow students to start the first module when the others may be in the last module. Yeah. So that depends how does the design the course. So students don't follow the same pace. They don't solve problems or carry out activities with the same frequency. They may spend two days or may just okay, uh, do something else for a few days or even only for two weeks, yes. even though they are ready to do it. So it's very difficult to keep synchronous activities. Like for instance, Sylvia, let's suppose that you, we provide a webinar. How with Periscope, for instance, with a back channel in Twitter. Yes. If you think, okay, I will give a webinar or a seminar online freely, and I will answer questions provided by students. That's a good idea. Yes. But there is a problem that not everyone this is, is there. Yeah, this is a synchronous um, way of uh, keeping your people. So it is not the best way to do it. It's very low cost in that sense, but there is no way to have yes. everybody there at the same time. <clears throat> Maybe it's better about a forum. But forum in the sense of I write and you answer also writing. Hmm. Or I just state questions or provide problems or just discussions, let's suppose with a short video clip like this one. Yeah. Okay? And people answer just in a written discussion or even answering by video or by podcast, okay? Just but asynchronously. Yeah. Just like, like building, anyway, a, building a wiki, for example, where everybody can just make their, uh, give their opinion or this kind of, not at the same time, everybody. Oh, that, that's a very good idea, uh, Sylvia. For instance, why don't you do students contribute to Wikipedia? In no MOOCs, you have knowledge. Low cost means also high reward or high commitment to open knowledge. So if you as professor, teacher or instructor build knowledge or have students build knowledge in the sense of a wiki or contributing to Wikipedia, that is also a reward for you, but especially for students. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, sharing. Sharing is very important. Tell students to share their ideas openly, not only in the closed forums, but for instance in Wikipedia and a wiki, wherever they like. Yeah, this is a way of retaining people because if you share, it is you will just to have people to read it. That means that you will be there in but, some way. So retention in that way, it's easy, low cost, and very important. Uh, low cost not only for instructors but also for students. For yes. instance, let's suppose that we have a MOOC uh, on art or in geography or whatever where taking pictures is interesting and relevant. Mm -hmm. You would ask, for instance, if it's a, it's a MOOC on, let's suppose, geography, okay, or on GPS, take pictures, share them while you carry out the mock. So all students can take a look at your pictures or exercises or drawings or small projects, share them. And remember, it's not synchronous. So one of the students may be now and the other may be two weeks later. I think that sharing, Sylvia, provides value to the students' activities. Yes. In this sense, not only it's low cost, but profit is high. So low cost, high profit, yeah. also for, for instructors. So I think that you have to think in low cost in many ways. Let's suppose something else. Uh, let's carry out surveys. Or let's provide not only badges. Badges is when you do something, okay? You have a badge, okay, you are an explorer. Explorer level A, then explorer level B. No, but you could say, let's, kind, let's do some kind of a ranking or kind of contest only against yourself because but, it's but a synchronous, so it's you, very difficult. But how can you just make this kind of ranking 
using, if you have 2,000 students, how can you do well, this kind you, of, in a very low cost way? Or, or for, for the instructor. Sure. For the okay, instructor. if you use, for instance, Google Survey, Google Forms, oh. sorry, Google Forms, the answers from Google Forms, if, if you allow for numerical input, yeah. that goes yeah. straight ahead to an Excel, a Google spreadsheet. From there, it's very easy to build up with a small formula kind of ranking. So students can look at the rankings just on the spot. Okay, they, they are updated continuous, continuously. Yes. It's not competition with the others. No. It's, it's just, just against yourself. Yeah, 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 yeah right. Yeah, this is very important so, and, and very convenient.